Yo YouTube. So I thought I decided to make a second video on my car because apparently people actually watched my first one. I didn't think anyone was actually gonna watch it. But yeah, here's my car. It's a two for the people that are just watching this for the first time. This is a 08 G37. Start from the front, work my way to the back. So yeah. Here's a well, it's not the first thing I did to it, but I placed the dip the grill. It's supposed to be gloss, but I guess you can't really tell. But it looks better than all that chrome that I had before. And I have these wheels. These are 245s by 35s, 19s. I, that is, I think it's the first thing I bought for this car. And my car is lowered. It's on coils, tains, coil, tain coilovers. It's not a slam drop, you know, but it looks, it looks pretty clean. I don't want to be scraping everywhere, even though I kind of do scrape already. And then um, I installed those uh, splash guards front and back. That's just, I just decided to put them just, just to have them. One thing I forgot, um, I think this bumper is a sport bumper. I don't think that's a base model bumper. I think uh, the previous owner did that. And he also did the drill rotors in the front and back I did the window tint it's like limo tint so you can't can't see anything no matter how close you get I got pulled over for it once but the cop let me go he was real cool about it he didn't even tell me to remove it and before he left he's like oh nice car by the way I'm like ooh thanks these wheels are 19s also they're 275s by 30 uh, so they're wider in the back and smaller in the front you guys can see that. I don't think I have camber. It kind of it kind of looks like I have camber, but I don't have a camber to install. So we'll find out in the future when my wheels start wearing out. Here's that trunk that I was talking about. I bought it like two months ago. Installed it myself. It's fiberglass, duck bill. I believe I paid like 500, 400 for it. Uh, how to get it? spray painted that was another 400 bucks I think 300 so it was close to nine eight hundred almost a thousand bucks I think but it looks pretty sick uh, I also have this mortar dyne exhaust As you guys can see that it's a mortar dyne e370 stainless steel full cap back exhaust sounds pretty loud it sounds really good when the car's running, like when you're actually driving down the road. I'll show you guys an exhaust video right now, but it doesn't sound as good as, you know, driving the car. Kind of sounds like a GTR, but a little bit louder, I guess. Here's the wheels again with coils. I think about putting, um, what do you call them again? Spacers, but I don't know. I think I'll just leave it like that. Let's go to the interior. Back interior. Interior is pretty pretty basic. I haven't really done anything to it Except uh, LED lights that the previous owner installed he, been, he installed them right here in the front Trunk and license plate Car has 75,000 miles. I got it for 16 grand cash With 56 57,000 miles, I believe. Yeah, and it's a clean title I Bought it from some dude in the coast right here in California. So I think I got a pretty, pretty fair deal with it. These cars are kind of expensive over here in California. I was thinking about getting it in a dealer, but I didn't want to go through the hassle of making payments every month. And it would have been like, I don't know, maybe 25 grand when the street I got it for 16, with no payments anymore. So this kind of explains why I have all these mods on my car. There's the stealing intakes. They run down here, there's two of them. You guys can probably see them, but anyways. Well, there's one, and the other one is somewhere around over there. Those were 600 bucks for both. Gains. So, yeah, there's my car. Um, what else am I forgetting? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to do to it. I mean, if anything, I'll just put a lip on the car. But the one that I want is not being made anymore. So I'm gonna have to find, my friend has that lip on his car, it looks pretty sick, so hopefully I can get it off from him. 
Uh, if I had the money, I'd twin turbo, twin turbo a car, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. That's way too much money for this car. I believe it's for like 10 grand for a turbo kit. I mean, but you're gonna get a good one. And I don't know, you gotta tune it and all that stuff. So um, I'm guessing easily like 15 grand to get this car fixed up, running property. That's way too much money. Can't afford that shit. So yeah, here's my trunk. Everything works like regular. I made these holes for the clips. They didn't have, they didn't, um, the trunk didn't have them, so I installed this too from the other trunk, or else it would have looked kind of weird and just weird. So this makes it look a little bit more OEM, I guess. Oh yeah, and I forgot that turn signal mod that I have. They were like 40 bucks, I think. Oh, hold on. He uses a brake, the brake, yeah, the brake lights as turn signals instead of that little light bulb that it has inside. Watch. See? He used to have some light bulb in here that would just flash and that looked kind of outdated. So I'm like, let's try this then. It looks pretty sick. Show you guys an exhaust clip so I could just end this video already. It's too hot to be outside. But yeah, the video doesn't do justice. <laughs> That exhaust sounds sick as fuck in person. And it sounds even better when the car is actually running and not just in parking. All right, Let's see if I can get a good shot. So yeah, there's a whip. Video doesn't do justice for that exhaust. Um, it's nothing like hearing it in person or while well, the car is actually running like down the street. So I mean, I don't know if you guys have any more questions, hit up my Instagram or something. I'll put it in the description. You guys can slide into my DMs or I get some car pictures or whatever. I don't know, whatever you guys want to do. Uh, hopefully, you guys got some ideas or something for your future or current G37. And there it is. Peace out, yo.